Royal Society was created in the 1920s and 1930s in Germany. The leading royal mediums were Maria Orzic, Gudrun, Sigrun, Traute and Heike. The royal emblem has the following meaning. Left, the black side, represents the present dark age of lies and deception. An evil cabal rules over this world and creates war after war. In the middle, we see the lightning strike of divine intervention and judgment day. The right side in purple represents a new golden age. This age will be an age of peace, freedom and enlightenment. January 25th, 2017. This time I would like to make a video about, uh, well... The Bible, actually. And um, because um, I've been studying since years many different religions. And um, I studied uh, books from Armin Rizzi um, concerning the Vedas. I even read the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, you know. Uh, I read ancient uh, Babylonian prophecies of the first Sargon. Um, you can buy them at a German bookstore, uh, in a, on a German bookstore online. These are the prophecies of the third Sargon from King Nebuchadnezzar of ancient Babylon. And I've been having this conversation online with a fellow uh, tutor who also believes in God and in Christ, but also knows the truth about the Jews and uh, the conspiracy to uh, enslave and then kill us all off, actually. Um, Right now I'm uh, focusing on my German channel, as you probably have uh, uh, found out that uh, I rarely make videos on my English channel. Um, right now I'm doing a, a video for my German channel, Alex on the suppressed cancer cures, but already I believe uh, there are many videos on YouTube about that subject. Nevertheless, it's my personal viewpoint on the uh, cancer cures that exist, that are out there, like Asia Cannabis Oil. MMS, uh, Lytril or Amygdalin, and, uh, um, uh, and uh, well, the therapies concerning vegetarian and uh, uh, raw foods that can be used to uh, make your uh, body more alkaline, and in th this way you can heal your own cancers. And thousands upon thousands of people have been healed in the 40s, in the 30s, in the 20s, in the 70s, with these alternative doctors that have implemented these alternative cancer cures with success. And Rick Simpson is one of the most modern healers that is out there. He uses cannabis oil to treat his people, his patients, with success. And the pharma industry and the control of the Zionist Jews suppresses all. Uh, nevertheless, that's my, the subject that I'm going to do on my German channel. Uh, the conversation was about this. Uh, the Old and New Testament are different in that respect that in the, New Test in the Old Testament, uh, God is vengeful, wrathful, uh, genocidal actually. And in the New Testament, uh, Jesus' teachings about forgiving, because you don't see the entire um, picture of it all, uh, turn the other cheek. Um, um, what I've learned from the Bible is actually not to judge. This comes also from Jesus. Uh, I also don't tend to judge, um, well, apparently the Bible, the writings of uh, the uh, God's Spirit, apparently, uh, the scribes who, were, who wrote down the Bible, God this apparently saw this on uh, uh, tablets, on golden tablets, uh, shown to them by metaphysical angels from God or God Himself, uh, or even in Jesus in spirit form. So um, that's what they say, at least in the Bible, at least, and according to my insight on how this is possible. There are many, many writers out there who are um, spirit writers, who write books uh, from the other world or for spirits on the other world. And yes, God even can do this. Um, can show himself and also help you do that. So that's more than possible. Um, and what he has to say, what I like about uh, Matthew 13, well, it's the New Testament. Therefore, just as the, Matthew 13, 40. Therefore, just as the weeds are collected and burned to fire, so it will be in the conclusion of the system of things. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out from his kingdom all things that cause stumbling and people who practice lawlessness. Well, against the for laws of nature, no? not against the laws of the Jews, and they will pitch them into the fear fur in the f into the fear furnace. That is where their weeping and ga gnashing at their teeth will be. At that time, the righteous ones will shine as brightly as brightly as the sun. Well, at the conclusion of things after Judgment Day, at that time, the righteous ones will shine as brightly as the sun 
in the kingdom of their father. Let the ones who let the ones who has ears listen. Uh, don't waste your time on um, people who do not have uh, an ear for you. So that's what it's it's a pretty good uh, counsel actually. It's a uh, <laughs> don't waste your time on people that do not have ears to listen to your truth. Um, another part. What I also found interesting is that uh, Jesus predicts in Matthew 13, practically, that he will go to Jerusalem and he will be persecuted and that finally be crucified and killed and three days later he would resurrect. So he had insights already on his future life, pretty much as uh, Edgar Cayce, a medium of America, the sleeping prophet, had on his own life and reincarnation in the future in the new golden age. So. Um, and some, someone tries to stop him and says, no, you can't do this. You can't, how can you give yourself up to the authorities? How can you sacrifice yourself? And he says here, get behind me, Satan. You're a stumbling block to me because you think not in God's thoughts, but in those of men. God thinks differently and has different plans, has the uh, view on the entire uh, plan uh, that has been going on since at least 2000 years, if not longer, according to my research and insight, and transmedia knowledge that was given to me, uh, we've been this already over six times, and this is the seventh time you're trying to break free. Uh, you must know that it's comparable to um, uh, the Jesus Christ figure is uh, the only way how God can actually actively influence our urban world sphere or dimension. By that, um, that avatars can get born and then uh, become aware and start taking a leading role in society. And according to Miguel Serrano's books and works, the last leading figure to represent this figure was uh, Adolf Hitler. If you know the truth, yeah? Well, uh, I expect the people to know the truth already on revisionist history, on the truth on the so-called Holocaust and the massacres of German people during World War II. It was actually a, a genocidal campaign of annihilation against the German people in 1945, yeah? 17 million Germans were brutally slaughtered, killed, raped, maimed, burned alive, and wars, and even crucified. Um, Armin Brisi, uh, a German researcher who uh, was in a, a monastery for over 20 years and who studied the Vedas, he says that there are also godly incarnations, but that this has been recurring over time, and it is cyclical. Um, every major religion states that there is some messianic figure that will come at the end of time to lead the battle against the forces of darkness. Uh, according to the Bible, he will appear like a thief in the night. This means that uh, only apparently the Christians will expect him, but even they will be surprised because uh, nobody will expect it. Yeah, it's, uh, they've been preparing, according to Nicolas van Rensburg, uh, the viewer of South Africa, that they, uh, that they would prepare in secret and then intervene uh, on, the, on the time when necessary. Some argue, well, if there are out there the Imperial Germans, if God exists, then, uh, well, everything's lost, and uh, that's it, and we have given up. Uh, I already came to the insight in 2007, seven months after researching, that there are more than enough uh, good and righteous people of our, our, our race as well, yeah, out there, uh, enough to restart after the global cleansing and global judgment day, yeah, um, that some of us will survive and pass into the new age. According to the Bible, the meek will inherit the earth. And um, God will also, oh, Jesus Christ apparently will come uh, not to bring peace, but to bring us war, uh, Matthew. You know? So I'm combining all of this. And uh, yeah, uh, some argue then, um, who argue wise, um, yeah, the Jews manipulate so much information. Who says that all of this information, like the ancient Vedas and even the Bible, are not manipulated? And I think you're giving them too much credit. You know, the Babylonian clay tablets, or um, even the um, Egyptians' hieroglyphs, they picked an entire history. Yeah? Um, also, the Egyptian Empire was taken over by the Jews back then, I admit. Um, um, uh, the first uh, Mulat of Pharaoh, Teharka, 704 BC, 
That was also a sign that they lost their racial cohesion. Uh, the ancient Egyptian Empire, the ancient Egyptian Empire was Aryan, was Nordic, well, was European looking. Yeah, they had golden brown, well, uh, uh, bronze type color, but this because they were tanned of the sun. Yeah, I went to Tenerife once, I lived in Tenerife for eight years, and when I go into the sun and get brown, yeah, I have this goldenish color. And that's. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, people who have been viewing my videos since a long time know about this and um, know about this reality that uh, the Aryan race is the creator race. I believe that they are the original lineage to the Adamites. Um, that's why I'm trying to read the Bible from a racial perspective. And at the same time, the conversation I'm having here on Facebook is that, well, he's apparently evil in the, in the First Testament. And apparently really good heart in the Second Testament. But I think about it, look, from God's perspective, he gives life so he can take life. Uh, as an example, if you have a dog and he's a really nice and warm dog, you will keep it. But if you, that dog becomes rebellious and starts biting you and you can't put it back on the control without uh, electric shocks or whatever, you know, you can't correct him, then you have to put him down. That is uh, comparable to practically the Shadanic forces, uh, the evil forces the, uh, that manifest through the Zionist Jewish folk body and all their little helpers, um, do so much damage to our world, so much damage. They sacrifice children on a daily basis worldwide. Yeah, millions of children disappear every year worldwide. And many of them are used in horrific ritual sacrifices and sexual perverted sacrifices. This, these are even recorded and most likely shown live to all the people that want to see it worldwide. The dark net, so-called in dark internet, it's all possible. That is not justifiable. And imagine a dark dimension or a part of a dark dimension where there are only these evil creatures and these dark evil creatures procreate and even have offspring. Would you allow them to exist? So that is genocide from a perspective of God. Yeah, the question here is, is genocide justifiable in the eyes of God? And I say, I cannot judge, I cannot say from my ethics point of view, well, um, I believe we should save the children and, uh, well, at least... Zayaha, in her, in her ancient writings, portrays it really well. Well, she should be blonde and blue-eyed, this lady here. Sayaha was an Aryan lady of uh, our blood. Um, she portrays it really well. The, if there is the seed of evil remains, it will always grow, expand, and try to fight God or creation and ensnare and enslave. So the seed of evil has to be annihilated. And in the Bible it is stated that we are fighting the... He the spirit realms actually that uh, the Zionist Jews, the Jews themselves, are controlled by these demonic entities and by David Icke says there are even reptilian uh, entities from the other world that can take influence on in this reality. And my visionary input stated pretty much like a story like a Star Wars movie was that there was this Draco race in this galaxy that was conquering this galaxy and that this Draco race wanted to conquer this entire galaxy this was a universal war, this was just the next galaxy to be conquered, and that from this galaxy, um, well, the war started against them. Uh, and that these Dracos were led by a queen. Well, that is the, now the other crazy other world, but if you uh, accept the fact that there's life all across the universe, all across our galaxy, that there's intelligent life out there, that there's trade, that it's much like Star Wars and Star Trek, that there is intelligent life in the art, galaxy or even in our solar system, the Imperial Germans are a type 1 stellar civilization or even a type 2 stellar civilization if they have colonies in other star systems. Um, I try not to judge. Um, even in the ancient testament God gives the order to mark, uh, to, well it gives his disciples the order to go into the city and mark all those that are righteous, of righteous souls, before he sends in his forces to kill everybody off. It's horrible. Yeah, but I am not going to uh, question now the ethics from a godly perspective. 
even vengeance. I keep uh, depicting Ezekiel 25, 17. And you know, um, hold on, I'll check it out here. This is what he says. I will execute on them great acts of vengeance, the furious punishments, and they will have to know that my name is Jehovah when I bring my vengeance on them. Ezekiel 25, 17. He avenges himself. And to be honest, um, vengeance in itself it, <laughs> is it evil? We've been told that we have to always to forgive, that we are that punish that punish we've been conditioned to believe that the capital punishment of death uh, under the right circumstances is truly proven that he committed those acts of atrocities, pedophilia, murder, rape, you know, you name it, then uh, death sentence is not the end, yeah, it's just releasing the soul, yeah, we have to state, we have to become aware that uh, if your children would be used in a pedophile ring, abused over days, weeks, name it, I mean killed off, or even over months, you're in your full right, according to nature's laws, to go there and kill them all off. But the laws prohibit this type of behavior. The ancient Germanic tribes had a totally different code of law. For them, vengeance was part of the law. Because you had to have an, even a lioness or a wolf protects its offspring. And they would fight to the death and even kill the ones that are uh, harming their offspring. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, well, I wanted to make a video about, um, yeah, well, the Bible actually, and uh, from our perspective, from our conditioned perspective, um, you have to know that evil is doing this to us fully aware of what it's doing, yeah? Uh, I'm not saying that every US military soldier is an evil soul. No, they're brainwashed and have no other choice most of the other US pawns in a global game. But the core that knows all of this and does all of this, like pedophilia, the Pizzagate scandal with the Clintons in America and all across Europe and all across the world, you don't have to know that it's all located in Washington DC. The child trade is an ongoing process. It happens all across the world. They know this. And they know that even the most brainwashed drone sheep would lash out against them and even kill them off if they would see what they're doing to our children. That's why they have their own coded language. Pizza boy. Eh? I would kill them all off. Without a hesitation thought. Actually, Killing them, it's actually too good for them, man. They should suffer everything what they have done unto them, unto their, uh, unto their victims. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I tend, try not to judge. I believe that in Christ out of, well, insight. Uh, I don't support uh, church institutions that support Israel, no, they're also brainwashed. Like every institution out there, every institution has been infiltrated. Um, does not, that does not mean that you kind of believe in God and Christ and an ultimate salvation. And uh, praying works, people. It works for me. It works for anybody who really believes in the Father and the God. And for the rest, um, I find it really good that Donald Trump has become elected president. Uh, I found out that the truth about Hillary Clinton is horrific. Donald Trump is a straight white male that is not a pedophile, I believe, uh, according to my research. He's a straight white male that likes young women, or women in general, a normal taste, a straight white male. And I believe he will try his best from his perspective to do anything. Remember that uh, President Kennedy was two and a half to three years in office before he was assassinated in 1963. And uh, Donald Trump already canceled TTP, the International Free Trade Agreement. So, and um, 
Well, Hillary would have never done that. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that World War III is hopefully averted for some time. Um, yeah, cheers, and until next time, ciao!